Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to create uh, these forms in Access Database with these interactive buttons and this chart. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use queries with Access Database. So, what are queries? Queries, you can say, is just a fancy name for searches. But Queries become very important when you try to connect your access database with some uh, language or with some program you are making. For example, in C Sharp or Visual Basic or Java. So when you connect your database with a language, you need to pass queries from that language to your access database so that your access database can return on the basis of queries so return the result on the basis of queries so on that uh, on that point queries becomes very important now uh, let's see how we can create queries in uh, access so i will close this and i will open my table view first so this is my table and I have added one more field called pay in this table view. So what I have done is I will go to the design view. I have added this pay uh, column and this is a number and I formatted it with a currency euro. So it will always show euro in front. Okay. I will say yes. So now let's start creating queries. What you need to do in order to create queries is go to this create tab and search for query wizard okay so just click this query wizard and you will be presented with query wizard for now we are using simple queries just click ok and now you can choose tables in which you want to uh, deal with queries I have only one table so I will select it and I will select all this data here and I will click next and I will leave it as default click next and you can change the name of this query from here right now I will leave it as default and I will say I will modify the query design and I will click finish so this is the design view in which you can pass the queries okay so you have employee ID name last name and whatever columns your uh, table have you, you, you can see them here and you can see uh, all the columns here also now as I told you query is like a search on the on some criteria right so for example you want to search all the names from your employee data table which starts from M okay so what you can do is you can go to employee ID column and go to this uh, row called criteria so just select in front of the row called criteria and you can give criteria on the basis of which you want to filter your data or you want to search your data so we want to search uh, the name on the basis of for example which start with uh, the letter M so I will go to the column name first name and I will write M and this star symbol or asterisk symbol whatever you want to say it so just write M star so this uh, means we are searching for uh, the name which starts from M and asterisk is like a wild card so that it's uh, it doesn't bother what's after M you you just bother uh, the name which starts from M and whatever uh, uh, comes later uh, after the first letter we don't uh, bother about it whatever is the name we uh, don't bother about it so it's just like a wild card now when you uh, hit your tab button here 
it will automatically uh, modifies your query like this like it will add like before your query and how you can execute this query you are in design view and you can see here a button called run button so when you click this button your query will be executed i'll run this and now you can see i can see only the only the name which starts from the letter m right and now in order to save this query what you can do is you can go to this uh, little window button here and you can say save as and just click save object as and you can just give the name to your query so uh, i can say employee dot name which starts from m okay and click ok and it will be saved here as your name right so once again we go to the design view here and now for example you want to uh, once again uh, make a query for example for the pay so we want to uh, uh, check whichever employee is having the pay greater than 30 euros per hour we want to list out those employees so i i go to uh, the pay column here and in the criteria row what criteria i will give i will give greater than or equal to 30 and click tab button and then i will perform this query once again so just click this run button here and you can see the employees with pay greater than 30 euro per hour okay so once again i will go to the design view and so there is a perfect time to show this uh, uh, design view and this view section there is there are different kind of views here so we are in right now design view and we are uh, toggling around design view and data sheet view this view and design view but there are other views also pivot chart view pivot table view but the important view here also is when you create a query this is a sql view so when you click this sql view you can see this query here and this query is important uh, when you want your uh, database to communicate with other languages right so when you want to uh, communicate with other language this query uh, or this line you need to uh, transfer it or you, you need to pass to your access database in order to fetch this same data so if you want uh, that uh, uh, you want the list of employees who have uh, the uh, pay greater than uh, 30 euros per hour you need to pass this query to your c sharp database or c sharp not c sharp database but the c sharp language or uh, java language or any other language so this query uh, is important from that prospect so don't uh, don't uh, ignore this query this is really important when you are dealing with some uh, languages like oh, right so you can create your query in design view and whenever you want to pass this query to other language just go to the sql view copy this query and pass it to the language you are working with right okay so once again to the design view and what i can do is i can uh, once again create a new column using these queries which is not there in the, your table so for example i want to calculate the bonus pay for each empl employee 
and the formula will be simple i will take the pay of the employee and i will multiply it by 50 for example and that will be the bonus of the employee so what i can do is i can go to this blank column here and i can give the name of the uh, of the column here for the bonus but the better uh, option uh, will be i can right click here and i can say build query and here i can say i want to calculate the bonus for the employee so first of all we will give a title to this column as we have uh, these titles pay phone country so we will give the title so for giving the title you just need to give the name for example bonus and just give a colon here so colon tells uh, this uh, access that this is our uh, column name and after that whatever you will write here is uh, the expression you want to execute so for example we want uh, to execute uh, we want the bonus which uh, is calculated by the pay so i want to uh, have this pay here and i will do it like this so whenever you want to call some column in uh, your expression you call it with these square brackets so in this square bracket just pass uh, the pay column so just write pay as it is whatever is the name of your column just write exactly the same here and you can say i want to multiply it by 50 and this is my bonus uh, column and i will just enclose it in these parentheses and now when i click ok if you, uh, if you don't see this i can paste it in here so you can see it better it's bonus colon and in the parentheses the pay column name in the square bracket multiplied by 50 okay and i will click ok and you can see here it has created a new column called bonus with uh, the this formula and when i execute this query once again uh, execute it you can see a new column here and uh, which is a bonus column and whose result contains the pay multiplied by 50 so 56 multiplied by 50 is 2800 uh, and 54 multiplied by 50 is 2700 like these so you can uh, add the, this bonus here like this now in order to show this uh, euro icon here or euro symbol here we are not seeing euro symbol here so in order to add this euro symbol before all these calculated value i will go to the design view once again go to the column right click it go to the properties and i will say format i will select format here click this button make it a little bit bigger so you can see and i can format on the basis of currency or i will just click euro here okay and when i go to my run view again you can see here euro is added and my uh, bonus is formatted in euros like this okay now once again to the design view so you you can not only uh, search data using queries but you can update your data you can delete your data you can uh, i mean uh, do anything with your data using queries and for uh, knowing more about these queries there are some ribbon icons here for example you want to update the data just select this button and it will then use or it will then create a query to update your data so now this design field is uh, changed and you can see here update to and on the basis of criteria you can update your data 
okay and you can delete your data also just select select this delete button here and you can just give the criteria on the basis of which you want to delete your data for example i want to delete the data on the basis of uh, name for example or where the name is equal to whatever right so i will say i want to delete the data i will go to this view and i want to delete the data where name is equal to this so i will copy this name i will go to the design view once again which is this view and this is my delete i mean this delete uh, design view right so i have clicked this delete design view and i will click the criteria where name is equal to this and when i hit this uh, run button you, it will ask you it doesn't it doesn't find this name because in this query i have this condition i have created earlier so i will delete this query from here once again i will run my query from here and it says you are about to delete one row from the specified table and when you click yes here it will delete right now i won't, don't want to delete any data but when you click yes here it will delete this row from your database forever so you cannot uh, whatever you delete you cannot revert it back it's deleted from the database right and because this employee id is uh, a primary key you cannot generate a key 13 if it's deleted again because it's a unique key and primary key is a unique key and it can be generated only once so if you delete this data you cannot generate uh, the employee data with the employee id 13 okay so in this way these query works you can uh, play with this query in the design view you can see there are different uh, buttons here the main buttons are select update and delete buttons and don't forget just uh, take a look at these select uh, view also sql view also and when you see this sql view you can find this query which you can pass to uh, the other language the query is independent of the language the query is the same for the java if you're passing it to java or if you are passing it to the c sharp it's the same query you need to pass to the other languages okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now